Let's take a look at how to name and write formulas of acids. Um, so acids, there's basically two different naming conventions. Um, there's when you have H um, and one other element. That's when you use the prefix hydro. Then you put the root of the name um, followed by ic, acid. Okay, then you can also have H plus um, a polyatomic ion. So you might have H and nitrate, H and sulfate, H and phosphate, um, and then there is no hydro in front. You check the polyatomic ion. It turns into ic, it turns into us. No hydro in front. Okay and again followed by the word acid. So let's just um, start down this list. For this first one, I see that this is H and a polyatomic ion. So I will not put the prefix hydro. Okay, I check the polyatomic ion. Um, this ion, this is sulfate. We said that eight turns into ic. Now this is if I just use the naming convention as is, it should be sulfic acid. Um, in actuality, for sulfur and phosphorus, they keep the er in. I don't know why, maybe it sounds better, but this is actually um, sulfuric acid. So something just to kind of remember for naming conventions, sulfuric, phosphoric, they keep the er, the or in there, even though it's not in the polyatomic ion. All right, let's look at the next one. H and one other element. Okay, I need that prefix hydro in front. So this is hydrosulfuric acid. And again, I said for sulfur, you keep that er in there. Hydro, root, sulfur, and then ic acid. Okay, the next one, H and a polyatomic ion. No hydro in front. Um, I check, what is that polyatomic ion? I know it from my list, it's carbonate. What did we say eight turns into? Okay, eight turns into ic. So this is carbonic acid. Notice there is no hydro in front because it is H and a polyatomic ion. The next one, again, H and a polyatomic ion, no hydro in front. Okay, what ion is that? That is phosphate. What does eight turn into? Okay, eight turns back into ic. And we said for, phosphor, uh, for phosphorus and sulfur, we keep that extra syllable in. Um, so this is phosphor, ic acid, no hydro in front. Okay. Um, HCl, H and one other element. We keep hydro, so this is hydrochloric acid. And HClO4, H and a polyatomic ion. What is that ion? ClO3 is chlorate, so this is perchlorate because there is one extra oxygen there. Okay, we said eight turns into ic. Keep that, um, keep that prefix that you just put for the ion because it's part of the name. So this is perchloric acid. Okay, just as if it were hypochlorite, it would turn into hypochlorous acid. So that hypo is different than hydro. Okay, you keep that there even though it's, you know, in a polyatomic ion. So any polyatomic ion that has a prefix, you keep that there. Okay, notice these all were eights turning into ix. Um, let's say I had HNO2. Okay, that's a polyatomic ion. I think of the name. NO2, NO3 I know is nitrate. Nitrate, so this is nitrite. Okay, what does it turn into? It turns into us. So this is nitrous acid. Okay, so you really just got to know your naming rules. Let's look at the other side. And again, just remember that even though there's a subscript there in front of the H sometimes, that, that didn't influence the naming at all. Um, the reason why that H subscript is there is to balance the charge. So like SO4 is a two minus charge, there's two H's there to balance that. Um, but that didn't influence the name at all. There's no die um, 
in, in the naming of acids. Okay, um, so let's look at this next one, which is spelled incorrectly. Let's go the opposite way from name into formula. So I notice the fact that there's a hydro in front. That means it's H and one other element. The other element, aside from H, is iodine. So I have H and I have I, and I should think about the charges. H is a plus one, I is a minus one. So how many H's do I need? I just need one. So HI, hi. Okay, nitric acid. Notice there's no hydro in front. So this was from a polyatomic ion. Nitric turns backwards into H. So what is nitrate? Nitrate is NO3 with a one minus charge. So how many H's, which have a positive one charge, do I need to balance this out? Just one, this is HNO3, and let's get rid of the charge because it's a neutral compound, it should not have a charge on it now. Hydro sulfuric acid, okay, I've got hydro in front, that means it's H and one other element. What's the other element? Oh, sulfur, okay, what charge does sulfur have as an ion? Sulfur has a two minus. So how many H's which have a plus one charge do I need to balance it out? Okay, I need two of them. So this turns into H2S. And if you're having trouble writing these formulas from the charges, you should go look at the video for um, writing the formulas of ionic compounds. Even though these are not ionic compounds, um, these you can use the same uh, method for writing these formulas. Um, sulfuric acid, no hydro in front. This must be from a polyatomic ion. Ick turns backwards into eight. Um, sulfurate, okay, really just sulfate. What is sulfate? Sulfate is SO4, two minus. So I need two H's to balance out that charge. Chloric, again, no, no um, hydro in front. So that turns into a polyatomic ion, chlorate. Chlorate is ClO3 with a one minus charge, so I put an H in front. Let's say this was chlorous acid. What would be the formula? Okay, again, no hydro in front. Chlorous, us turns into ite. Chlorite is ClO2 with a one minus charge, so I need one H in front. Oh, well, what if this was hypochlorous acid? Again, remember, hypo is different than hydro. Um, doesn't have hydro in front, must be an ion. Us turns back into ite. Hypochlorite is ClO minus one, so I only need one H to balance it out. Notice I'm always putting an H in front because these are acids, which are H plus donors, so there must be H plus in the formula. And the last one, chromic does not have a hydro in front, so it is a polyatomic ion that is combined with H. It goes back into eight. Chromate is CrO4, two minus, so I need two H's to balance it out. You need to know those names and charges of the polyatomic ions in order to successfully um, name and write the formulas of acids.